Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and to another trailer reaction. Um, today we're actually going to be watching the trailer to a new animated Mortal Kombat film, which is following up on Scorpion's Revenge. For those of you that have not seen that, please do look it up, check it out. Very good animated film in the Mortal Kombat universe. Um, and this is called Mortal Kombat Battle of the Realms. I actually... It's funny. The timing is funny because I, I know, I guess, that some people were aware that this was coming out today. I was not, but I actually was up all night filming other reactions. Um, and I've just been working on the edits and then a bunch of people posted on Twitter that, that this just premiered. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to check it out anyway. I've got all my stuff on. Why not pop in and try to do a little bit of a reaction to it? So we can check it out together. I'm pretty tired, but this shouldn't take too long. So I figured why not, right? Um, and I'm definitely curious to see what they're going to bring to the table here. So let's check it out. Rated R as it should be, of course, for Mortal Kombat film. Here. It looks you? lovely. Yes, come to me. Come to die. All right, show. Whoop. Okay. Yes, WB animation. And end, yes, there is Kentaro. Determine not just the future of our realm, but the others as well. There's Lau. We've got oh, tournaments. Katana's got an MKX what? outfit going on. Tournament? That's a whole thing. I'll explain later. Striker. All right, that's interesting. I saw Jade. Was that Lee May? <laughs> Never mind. That sums it up. <laughs> Lord Raiden told us as a child, soul so pure that he could save the realms. Oh Lord! You are that child, okay? A soul oh, so pure that he could save the realms. I've been waiting oh. a long time for this. So have I. Fight! <laughs> Is that Devora? Okay, we got some Sector and Cyrax. Shinnok. That is Lee Mei, isn't it? And there's Jade, and that is Devora. Fatality. Okay, so Sonya's gonna kill Lee Mei. I'll pay for my brother's death. Wait. Oh. Right. All right. Well, that was interesting. So, of course, it's keeping in the same art style. So, depending on how your feelings toward that were with the first movie, I mean, it will obviously be an impact on how you feel about the second one. Um, so, some interesting character choices I wasn't fully expecting to see here. So it seems like we're going to be having maybe a kind of uh, not straight up. It's it's gonna have some. It looks like it's going to have some elements of MK2, but also some elements of MK3 added in because you see things like characters like Striker and Jade, and of course you see the Cyber Ninjas, Sector and Cyrax there. But then you also saw like Lee Mei, who clearly she didn't come until much later in the series. So they're, they're again, playing around with the timeline some, which I don't really mind. I think that that can be a fun thing to do sometimes. Um, and it provides an opportunity to give some other characters some spotlight. I'm kind of surprised about the striker inclusion. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see how that, how that turns out. Um, I'm, the Cyberlink way is cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that for sure. Um, and 
it seemed like they had kit all right these are just nitpicky things right it seemed like they had katana in like an mkx outfit whereas they also had jade but it looked like she was in an mk9 outfit I don't know. So to me, it just seems like if they could have, they're just picking and choosing from whatever they consider the best outfits to be. I don't know if the ones they chose are the ones that I really would necessarily go with, but everyone's got their own opinion on, <laughs> on costumes and outfits, right? I, not that I don't like Kitana and MKX, but I actually like some of her other MKX outfits better, and none of the MK9 outfits are really the ones that I would go with necessarily but but i am excited just to see jade there devora again it's interesting so they're kind of they're playing off of some of the things that we've seen in the more recent mk games which is where they're taking more contemporary newer characters that have only been in a couple of games and trying to re retcon the storyline to say that they were there all along in some capacity so they're having devora put in there um so I'm curious what they're going to end up doing with her <laughs> overall. But I'm also really curious about the line they said about Liu Kang being such a pure soul that he would be born to like defend all the realms. To me, one of the appealing things about like Liu's character was always the kind of conflict that he had within himself. Um, and that early on, you know, especially in the original storyline, he was not really fully on board with the whole thing until a little bit later. He wasn't a full believer in everything. Yeah. I do think, I, I mean, maybe calling him pure of soul, though, could work. That does work. That kind of works. Xiao looks sick, of course, as always. Xiao is, Xiao is looking fierce. And I like the, definitely, I liked the look of the arena. That looked really, really cool. So I'll definitely be interested in checking out that film. Uh when I get the opportunity to do so. So what did you guys think uh, checking it out? How did you feel looking at it? Did it look fun to you, good to you so far? Is there anything that you didn't like that you saw or that you questioned or that you wish you saw that wasn't there? Just let me know. Let me know your thoughts. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.